What is up everyone, Barricade here and bringing you guys another episode of Gears of War lore. Today we're going to be talking about the Gears of War comic book known as Unseen. It is simply a one-shot storyline again, but this time about Hoffman when he was in the Pendulum Wars. So we're going to see a little bit of a mission that he was going through while he was a lower rank and a major thing that was a big premise in the story was the fact that he was starting to finally get promoted to higher ranks but as he was getting promoted, he was also losing his ability to be on the field more. So he started having big regrets because the higher the rank he became, the less he was on the field and the less he was able to be in battles. And he actually didn't like that. So but we'll go ahead and get started here and we see that Hoffman is actually talking to a picture of Margaret, his wife. And just kind of saying things, you know, that he's sorry that he wasn't able to speak with her. Um, and just things like that and just kind of talking to himself when suddenly someone comes from the woods and appears behind him Hoffman gets scared, but we see that it's none other than by talk if you don't know who that is that is actually a Commando who actually was a great friend of Victor Hoffman and actually died saving the life of Dominic Santiago during the Battle of Asheville Fields. I really like this character a lot and he's actually a really interesting character in the extended universe of the Gears of War storyline, but he only appears in the comics and novels. He's never really appeared in the game whatsoever. I actually wouldn't mind him being a multiplayer character because he just seems like someone that would have been really cool. But anyways, we see that Bytok appears in front of Hoffman and presents him a combat knife, actually really big knife, almost like a, a dagger, I guess, a sword. I don't really know how else to describe it, but it is it's a really big ass knife here and Hoffman is happy to take it. And now we cut back to the next thing here where we see that they're back in camp going on their very next mission. What the mission simply consists of is them having to destroy a radar tower. And the whole point of this is simply because the UIR are on the move and the COG really need to intercept them to help the battle. But if they try to intercept them, that radar tower will pick up their helicopters and it will just alert them right away before the COG have any chance to ambush them. So they decide that they're going to do a detour and have the COG take the really long way around to get to the UIR, but it's going to take them six days and there's a good chance that the UIR will just simply get away and they won't be able to ambush them or fight them or anything. And it would turn the tide of the battle towards the UIR too easily. So Hoffman suggests that, you know, hell no, screw that. What we're going to do is we're going to actually sneak in with a small squad, destroy this satellite that's giving their helicopters away, and then they could all rush in together with their helicopters and this would reduce the trip from six days all the way down to two allowing them to catch up to the UIR and ambush them but the major issue is that the area that the satellite is in is what is known as a neutral zone what this basically means it's a or neutral state I guess is the better word for it and what that basically means is that it's a state that it has no alignment it has it's not a cog state it's not a uir state it's just a leave me alone state is the best way to describe it and the thing is even though that satellite is working for the ur and it helps the uir it it really is has nothing to do with them it's just like something that's in the middle area so what they're gonna have to do is exactly go in there and destroy a satellite a piece of property that's in this neutral state if they get caught this could actually have really huge ramifications for the war make the cog look bad and cause a lot of crazy pandemonium when it comes to how the cog looks and things like that so basically the um leader here that hoffman is speaking with is telling him you know hoffman's like we got to do this this is the only way we're gonna you know catch them and his leader's like kind of arguing with it but he does agree and I think the thing I like here is Hoffman goes, well, so is it a yes or a no? Can I go and do this or what? And then he's, he says, it's a don't get caught, Hoffman. So basically saying, yeah, go do it. We do need you to do this. You're right. This is a smart tactic. But don't get caught because this is going to make a big difference. So they assemble a small squad with um Hoffman and a lot of soldiers from Pasang which is a just like an outer region of the cog and they're kind of like indies in their own right but they're part of the cog and one of the soldiers that is joining is Bai Tak one of the commando soldiers that we mentioned earlier so they make their way down the road in this neutral state known as Mar 
Miranda, if I said that right, and they make their way through it and they pose as just normal people that are just driving a truck. They're driving a really old looking truck and they make it to the border of Miranda and just basically say, oh, we're just, you know, normal people. Like they really go full on infiltration mode to get into this state to be able to destroy that satellite. And as they make their way through it, they finally make it to the base that has this specific satellite and they need to simply ambush the soldiers that are there, kill them and destroy it. And we can see the effectiveness of the commandos because I don't know if you guys knew this, but the really cool thing about commandos and even Dom when he was a commando, their thing is that they're sneaky as you know, as much as it probably sounds like as what a commando does, but they're really sneaky and they, you know, go in there with just knives and yeah, they have guns and stuff too, but they're really great at stealth. They catch this soldier who's just simply sitting there having a smoke and we see that by talk sneaks up behind him slits his throat and then they make their way to the satellite we can see that the remaining cog soldiers joined by hoffman put a bunch of dynamite on each side of the satellite to get it set up for explosion but as they are doing this they get caught by the remaining soldiers that are watching that base and they simply go into a quick little battle here but it actually leads to them just simply blowing it up destroying the entire satellite and leaving it to where now the cog can cut through this area without being tracked by the UIR. Now, after this, we see that Hoffman still is just sitting there thinking about how he really does not want to be a leader. And I'll cut more a little bit into that. What I mean by that simply is that he does not want to become a higher up because once again, he'd just be sitting behind a desk and not really being able to be in the war. And that was actually one thing that he said earlier in the comic when they asked him, when he came up with this idea about even doing this, a lot of the soldiers that are in his squad asked him, you know, are you going to, you know, join or, you know, they weren't sure if he was going to join. And he basically said, yeah, I wouldn't be sending you guys out there if I wasn't going to help. So after they destroy the satellite, they simply make their way about a few hours later, they make it back to the border. They had to cut through the forest and they're hoping that once they got to the forest, they're going to be past the border, but they just so happened to barely come out right in front of the border. So they simply cut through, crash through the border and kill the soldiers that are watching it, the people that live inside Miranda. So it kind of sucks that they had to basically kill these soldiers that are watching this border but and the soldiers that are also being forced to watch this uir tower and then they also had to basically do it a sense to where no witnesses no one from miranda knows and they just simply get away and it helps the cog win this battle by simply violating a neutral state so that's just one thing that was really interesting but they get away and now they're back at base and everything is fine and the one thing i really like here that uh, hoffman basically states is he says i'll just read it to you guys real quick he says sometimes you just don't know where your piece of the jigsaw fits into the war sometimes what you do is unseen thankless even wasted effort but i'd rather do that than be in choice position which is you know his commander that set up this mission to begin with no danger of me ever making colonel margaret no danger of that at all so kind of just saying to his wife you know you don't have to worry about that i'll just be a soldier I don't ever have to make the big decisions. And one thing he did say was he says that he'd rather be a crunt because he'd rather be the ones having to do what the decision makers do rather than be the guy that makes the decisions and sends soldiers to their death. So he always kind of uh, hated the idea of becoming a colonel, becoming a higher rank, but yet he ended up becoming one and the pretty best damn one that they needed during the Locust Human War. And then one thing I also just wanted to point out is this is really early, uh, way before the um, Locust Human War. This was during the 62nd year of the Pendulum Wars, actually during around the same time that the previous issue took place in, the one I talked about in my last video with Adam Phoenix. So that's kind of crazy that as this was going on, they kind of were going through their own separate things and it's really interesting to think about. Anyways guys, if you guys like this video, please definitely hit that like button and subscribe and tell me what you guys think about the unseen issue of the Gears of War comics. It's pretty cool to see like a little bit of a more expansion on Hoffman's character and how he actually didn't even want to be a colonel and he ended up being one, so it's kind of funny. Anyways guys, thanks for watching and take it easy. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to see my most recent Gears of War video, hit that link on the left. If you want to see any of my other content, hit that link on the right. Thanks for watching guys.